Hi. Hi guys, the Herbert fam here. We're here for everyone. We're here for everyone. Um, okay, so we are like overwhelmed and cannot believe how many subscribers we got over this weekend. I love all my Team Abby uh, people out there trying to give me a little baby. <laughs> Happy and young, the fool of skip that part we are so excited to have you all here and we thought we would do a fun little um, sit down chat with you guys where I'm gonna ask Josh the juiciest questions that girls are afraid to ask their partners or their boyfriends <laughs> so um, let's go you excited extremely so if you're wondering where did Abby get all these juicy questions I got them from my Instagram from you guys um, if I mean, you're not following us on Instagram, we're going to put our handles right here and right here. So follow those. Okay. And I literally have so many questions. So I'm not going to be able to get to everyone's, but I mean, I'm still scrolling. So many. Oh, I hit the bottom. <laughs> There's so many questions. So I think we're just going to jump on into it, right? And here we go. I thought Nate was going to. Nate, hey, don't eat my crop. Remember, these are juicy questions oh that you would not ask your boyfriend okay. or partner. So the first one, I'm only gonna say because it made me giggle. What does a pad stick on to? A pad? Yeah. Uh, your underwear? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one for one. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, so next question is, does acne on your face, back, or chest matter? I would say no. I mean, if we get a little close up here, um, you know, I got, Acne's a real I got acne. Thing. It's real, a lot of people have it. Um, no, I, I mean, mean I've had, had, I've had. had acne. Um, I, I think acne. too, I mean, um, I've had acne forever. I mean, I've been battling it pretty much my whole life. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. I think if you really like the person, you like the person, it's not gonna you know, change anything. No, good question. That's good. It's a great question. Good answer. Yeah. Are you always honest with your wife? Ooh, all right. Um, I need a drink for this Yeah. Um, I would say yes, and if I'm not, it's a little like white lies, like nothing crazy, it's like, you know, I like what? Expose yourself. <laughs> Expose yourself. Oh boy. Um, You've never lied to me. I can't lie. What lies are you about? You know, like if you're ever like, um, hey, did you clean the house? Like if she's somewhere else and you know, oh, I said yeah. I'm gonna do something. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I cleaned the house. And meanwhile, I didn't even like start. And yeah. I figured out by the time she gets home, like I'll have it clean. Then I just never get to it. Stuff like that. Okay, so Nothing not like, not real lies. No, I, I think. Uh, Integrity is a great virtue to have, and I stand by that. Okay, next question. What was, <laughs> what was the first thing you liked about Abby? Um, I know this, her laugh. Uh. Um, I didn't even, I heard her laugh from like, I was right outside the room um, when we first met, and I heard her laugh, and I didn't even see her yet, and. Honest to God, it was like I've heard that laugh before. It was just like, as soon as I heard her laugh, it was like very um, familiar to me. And uh, Even though yeah. it's the craziest laugh ever. It is funny. It's different. <laughs> Stop. It's like a very... <laughs> like, it's different every time. Like sometimes I can't breathe. Some... I think Nate just farted. <laughs> sometimes I can't breathe. Sometimes I'm loud and crazy. <laughs> washer? <laughs> That's our washer. I'll be right back. <gasps> All right, sorry, I'm back. Our washing machine was making some crazy noises. Josh is doing the laundry. Here, we're getting a little juicier. What do you do when Abby has her period? <laughs> Run. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I'm just kidding. Uh, I just I keep my distance. She's She gets uh, kind of aggressive during uh, that time, so I 
try to be a little bit more patient and uh, understanding. And you gave me a lot of chocolate. Yes. Because <laughs> I'm always craving chocolate. Here we go. Have you ever been a player? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you're such a liar. No, um, I actually haven't. College, I just kind of had some friends. I didn't really date anybody in particular, but I wouldn't consider myself a player. I was pretty, you know, stay, stay in my own little realm doing music. That's a good answer. <laughs> yeah. What is one thing that Abby does that annoys you? By the way, I love you guys. <laughs> so, Abby has a tendency. That was quick. You jumped on that quick. <laughs> when she, and she knows she does it, her vocal level goes up like this and I can't just oh, I'm sorry Nate we're just doing a video and uh, I can't take it that's one thing that just makes my skin crawl I'm very is, loud I don't like high yelling frequency frequencies like that you know it's got to be docile here so that would be the number one yeah so I tone it down but sometimes I do it on purpose because I know it's gonna make him mad so when he makes me mad I just get louder so yeah, it doesn't work out no First impression of me and my family. Oh, um, well, mom, dad, if you're watching. Uh, no, it was very nice. I remember being uh, a bit nervous. You know, you're going to meet the family and you want to make a good impression. Um, but it was just super relaxing. Um, her parents were very welcoming. I had met her mom once uh, previously, but I had never met her sister or her dad. Um, they were just super accepting. The conversation was just great, and uh, we really hit it off, and you know, put me at ease. And yeah, pretty chill. My family's really, really chill. Yeah, give me the juice. I th this is more of an advice question, but I, uh, I think it yeah. should be out there. So, what if you want to wait until marriage, but he isn't a virgin and he pressures you? Wait, the girl wants to wait till marriage, and yes, he doesn't. And he doesn't. Um, she should probably get rid of him then. Yeah. If he doesn't respect how you feel and your your wishes, um, you know, you want to find someone who respects you at the end of the day. You can tell him goodbye. Bye. What is the most disgusting thing you've done in public? Probably poop my pants. <laughs> Not happy about it. How old are you? Seventeen. <laughs> Do you want to tell the story or no? no. Makeup or no makeup? I don't have um, any makeup on right now. Yeah, honestly, um, Abby, I just think she's a natural beauty. Um, so without makeup, um, you know, I prefer her, but you know, she looks gorgeous when she puts a little bit of makeup on and you know, we go out on, on the town, so. I like, I really rarely wear makeup, but I also do like doing like full glam and full makeup. So here we go. Do boys feel butterflies in their stomach like girls do? Yeah. Did you get butterflies? For sure. Yep. Yep. Not with you, but... <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Next. How much do you guys actually know of periods and your thoughts on it? How much... what? How much do you actually know about, like, getting a period? How much do I know? <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh. Goodness. Yeah, how much do you know? Um, I mean, I know... Uh, you don't know. A little bit. I don't know all the bodily functions that are going on. Um, I grew up with two sisters, so I'm, you know, pretty familiar with the timing and everything like that. But um, it's to the extent of everything that's going on there, I know the basics. Does height matter? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot taller than Abby, so, you know, I think, um, I, I don't think height matters. Um, I think it's, uh, honestly, I think, right I think here. a lot of girls, um, yeah, I may, might just be projecting this, but this has been my experience, um, cause I am of the shorter stature of gentlemen. Um, I think, uh, a lot of girls, they see a guy who might be shorter, he might be attracted, attractive to them, um, but they might just be like, oh, he's too short and just mm -hmm. totally cut out. This guy's funny, he's charming, he's sweet. So I think it, a lot of girls who do that are losing out because- That's what I did to you. You did, and then, uh, you know- I friend zoned him yeah. really hard. And uh, us short guys, man, we got a lot going on. And he was so nice and so sweet, and I was just like, mm, he's short. Even though he was like the nicest human being ever on the planet of Earth. Oh, tell him about uh, 
the first time she came over. So the first time I came over, um, so I little, was I was a bit insecure. Okay, so little backstory, we we met and then didn't see each other contact in two and a half years because we lived in different states, we were doing different things, and then finally after two years, I like reached out to him and was like, hey, like. How are you? I know like we met and just want to see how things are going and we went on or we like hit it off in text messaging and I was like, hey, you know what? Do you want to go on a date again? And he's like, yeah, sure. So our first date, he was just like, why don't you just come up to my house because we lived about an hour away from each other. He's like, come up to my house. We can like order dinner and blah, 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 blah. And as soon as I walk in, like I kind of remembered he was shorter, but as soon as I walked in, I looked down and he has <laughs> His little high heeled, like high heels. cowboy boots on. I mean, they had heels on. Cowboy boots. I'm thinking, why does he have shoes on in his house? And there's carpet. He was like walking on the carpet in his cowboy boots. And I think it, because you knew I was tall. So, um. Just want to make a good first impression. But, it was funny. moral of the I'll story. I'll never forget it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No, because I met him and we instantly connected. And what we date, we went on like three dates, and then started dating, and then I moved in. Like it was just all very natural, and we just. If there's a really connection, bonded. there's a connection. Juicy. Okay. Do you look at other girls while you're out in public with your wife? <sighs> to be honest, I'm the one that goes, "Oh my god, look at that girl's butt! Oh my god, look at that girl, she's beautiful!" Like I. And I'm like, eh, no. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like me with modeling and like constantly being surrounded by like beautiful women, I just notice them and I, I don't know, I just, I just feel like I'm all, I'm the one that's like, oh my God, that girl's so beautiful. Oh my God, that girl's pretty. She's oh my God. like makes she, me look. She should be a model. Like, do you think I should give her, like, sometimes I do some scouting stuff with my local agency. So I'm like, do you think I should give that girl a model card? Like, I'm not, even if Josh said it first, I would not be offended. I'd be like, oh wow, she's beautiful or something. Yep. So no, I do not look. No. Okay, this is a good one. Okay. Do you think boob size matters? No. <laughs> Why? Because I'm flat chested. <laughs> You're not flat chested. I don't think, I mean, that some guys. I guess it's a preference. Yeah, I think it's a preference thing. Um, but if you're a girl watching this, your boob size does not matter. Um, I was always been more on the flat chested side, and it is what it is. Like, I wouldn't, do uh, not, you know, if, I think if you're insecure about something like that, I wouldn't even worry about it because the person that you find and that you find, you know, who you're going to love or who loves you is going to love you for much more than just your physical attributes. Who was the girl that you had a crush on before Abby? <sighs> Gosh, say, there's so we... many. <laughs> <laughs> can we say celebrity? Can we just turn it like your celebrity crush? Uh, celebrity crush. Mm. First yeah, I know who it would have been. Yeah. Um, Amelia Clark, Khaleesi. Uh, Khaleesi. Um, Mother of Dragons, that's all I can say. So what's something that is super unattractive to a guy? Bad breath. <laughs> <gasps> hey! Uh... That's, that, I mean, it's gonna be different for all guys, but for me, that's a, that's a deal breaker. Bad breath, I can't do it. I don't have You don't have bad breath, I was just kidding. Sometimes. <laughs> Physical appearance, something that's bad. My God. <laughs> Here's a juicy question for you guys. What's the longest you've gone without eating Skinny Pop? <laughs> I'd probably say maybe a week. I wouldn't even say not even. Yeah, maybe four days. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been cheated on? Oh yeah, multiple times. It stings, but you learn from it and you grow from it. What is your biggest pet peeve in a female? Pet peeve? Mm -hmm. Pet peeve. Pet peeve. Oh. <laughs> um, my biggest pet peeve. I would say, like, I think we're circling back to that same question, but um, personality, if you're very mean and stuck up, goodbye. Yeah. Can't do it. Juicy. What is the sexiest thing that Abby does? Uh, Maybe when she smells her blankie that she's holding right now. <laughs> no, I don't want them to know I have my blankie. Look at this blankie, show it. I cannot, like yeah, I- to show it. It is disgusting. Oh, I don't think we can put this yeah, in. Yeah, you can. 
Oh. Like, just... No! Ugh. It is like... Ugh. It's my security blanket. It's my it's blankie. Disgusting. I just keep it right here with me at all times in my hand and in my pocket. <laughs> I cannot believe you just did that. It's all right. People got to know. Juicy. Do guys prefer it when girls make the first move? Uh, I think that, again, it's like a preference thing. But I think, I mean, for me personally, I think it's nice if the girl does make the first move because it's very, like, nerve-wracking, I, I think, for me. Yeah. Um, especially, I think, the first time we kissed, I was, like, contemplating in my head over and over oh, and over yeah. and over and over and over and over and over and over. Because I'm like, does she want me to kiss her? What if I kiss her and she doesn't like me? You know? So I think definitely if the girl makes that first move, I think it definitely breaks that that ice and like relieves a lot of like tension. Um, so yeah, I think if the girl makes the first move. Did I sure. make a first move? We're kind of equally, I think it just kind of happened. I, I went in for the kiss. But I didn't deny it. No, so, but <laughs> I, I contemplated like 10 different times before yeah. I did it, yeah. so. This is real juicy guys, real juicy. Give it to me. <laughs> Does Abby's fart stink so much? <laughs> oh God, the worst. He's not wrong. Brutal. Like, leave the room. Brutal. Sorry. Is that Chick-fil-A diet? <laughs> but they're cute. I guess. They're cute. Josh, how much do you love Abby? <laughs> Here's kind of juicy. Does body count matter? Bot, what's that? Um, body count, that's funny. Um, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, especially if you didn't know the, you know, you didn't know the person. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's that's weird. your past, right? I don't know. That's a weird question. Yeah. Do you think your girlfriend looks pretty when she's on her period? Well, <laughs> considering I don't have a girlfriend. Why? <laughs> um, she always looks pretty. Oh, good answer. What's the most embarrassing moment you did in school? So I remember it to this day. <laughs> um, I was in English class and it was right after lunch. <laughs> oh, I, know, I know what this one is. <laughs> and we were popcorn reading and for anyone who doesn't know that, it's like when you go around, you know, in a circle or whatever it is in the classroom and everyone takes a turn reading like a paragraph or something. And uh, I was reading my way through in my stomach. I don't know what I ate, but I was trying to hold this fart. <laughs> And, and this puppy just screamed out of me. And I was so embarrassed. And everyone, including the teacher, was like dying laughing. And uh, the one, my one friend next to me, they were like, who was that? And like, he pointed to me. And um, it was more funny than embarrassing, but it was a bit embarrassing because I really didn't mean to fart that loud. So that's probably it. <laughs> Here's a juicy one. Juicy. What makes you turned on by Abby? Um, I think, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like some, some days we're just both in a great mood and made a great day. <laughs> okay, so I think that was a nice That's little... it, that was uh, just juicy enough. Not too uh, juicy, but just enough. Yeah. And I think now it is time for our shout out. No, I'm so sorry if I pronounce these wrong, but I'm gonna try my best. Matteo Schneider. Matteo. Matteo Schneider. You said your favorite emoji emoji is the pregnant emoji, and I I hope that was because you're on my side there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and my next shout out goes to once again I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing anything wrong, but it's Cindy Made Tanada, um, and your favorite emoji is the heart. So now it is Josh's turn to All pick right, a shout out. Let's go. Let's go. All right, for my first shout out, it uh, goes to Ankle Breaker. Um, it's the mad face, I believe, saying a curse word. With the red. Um, fantastic, Ankle Breaker. It's your and, second shout out. Uh, for my last and final shout out, it's going to Mia Camilla. Woo -woo. And she's got the cloud, the juice box, the fairy, and I think that's an otter with sunglasses. Or is that just an otter? It's just an otter. Okay, I'm seeing things. <laughs> Um, so thank you guys for shouting out, um, and if you'd like, uh, please shout out your favorite emoji in this video in the comment section below uh, for a chance to be shouted out on our next video. And make sure you are following our Instagram accounts because we just did our first giveaway and we are going to be doing 
ton more giveaways. Ton more. Um, um, and if you guys aren't subscribing, I know Abby said that to our YouTube channel, it's super important um, that you hit that subscribe button. I think it's red and like, somewhere. Like, and, follow. Yeah, like, follow, subscribe. Notifications. Um, so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. I mean, who wouldn't want to? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys, yeah. um, we're gonna go watch uh, some hockey. hockey. And, oh, I, hockey. Hockey. Yeah. <laughs> and I think we should go out with a little song. And a fun fact real quick, our first date was a hockey, hockey game, game, NHL hockey game. So, so we're gonna have a little date night tonight. Yep. So let's go out with a song. You gotta start it because I can't sing. Juicy goodbye. Uh, also, we Juicy. should play your Spotify. Oh yeah. Hey, and if you guys don't know, um, I do music as well. Um, so we're going to put my Spotify down in the link section below. Um, you guys can check out my music and jam to it all day long. It's fantastic. It's the best music you ever hear. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, but not really. Um, so yeah, if you could, please uh, go down there and check out my Spotify. And if you like the music, um, you can follow me on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God.